Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hello, and welcome to Star Puppy. Today, I'm going to tell you my top three favorite hairstylers. As you can see, I have learned how to tame Fluff Nugget at least for two days straight with these three products. <laughs> uh, this is a braid out, and as you can see, it's actually pretty well defined. And if you know me, or if you know Fluff Nugget, Fluff Nugget is my hair, um, Fluff Nugget does not listen to nobody or nothing uh, at any time, and uh, I found out how to counteract that. <laughs> so at the end of my wash day, which is going to set the tone for the entire week, uh, in terms of if, if fluff nug is gonna behave or while out. I use the LOC method, which is liquid oil cream. Um, this is my cream that I use. Camille Rose Naturals Almond Chai Twisting Butter. I did a promo for them once. <laughs> My name is Lauren Phillips, I'm 21, and I'm a fashion blogger. So when it comes to what I put in my hair, I only trust the best. Camille Rose. Their new coconut water collection helps keep my hair beautiful, hydrated, and shiny. Uh, but that's not to say that I am in any way biased or anything. This video is not sponsored. I wish it was. But the consistency is very nice, extremely creamy. Oh no, my battery's about to die. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. It's a really thick consistency, which is completely mandatory for Fluff Nugget. If it's not thick, she's not gonna listen to it. That's just how it goes. Um, great ingredients in here. We have deionized water, vehitrimonium mythosulfate, satira alcohol, prunus dulcis almond milk, prunus dulcis almond oil, and the list goes on and on that I actually recognize and know how to pronounce, except the vehitrimonium. Beh which I had to sound out. But other than that one suspect ingredient, it's a great product, looks great, smells great, not the most stomachable price, but I would say it's worth it because a little goes a long way and I only use it on wash day. I use it once a week, if that, so just saying. Second up is this lovely Shea Moisture product. Are we still done with Shea Moisture? Is Shea Moisture still canceled? Because I bought this before all of that. So you can tell this lasts a really long time. <laughs> this is the Mongongo and Hemp Seed Oils High Porosity Moisture Correct Styling Gel with Apple Cider Vinegar. Can you tell I do voiceover? <laughs> anyway, the consistency of this is actually very strange. The smell is so-so. It smells a bit like vinegar, but a very the sweetest vinegar you can possibly have, if that makes any sense. The texture is kind of strange, um, but it's the only gel that I am comfortable using. This actually provides a soft hold. Um, it's not gonna like whip you into shape or anything like that, but I like how moisturized my hair feels after using something like this, because in my experience, using gels equals death. Yeah, and after I use this, I get a nice soft hold. It usually lasts about two days by itself if I really properly prepare my hair at night and don't sleep like a turbine. Great product. I probably use that most frequently. I use that for any kind of twisting or braiding I need to do. Um, there are other things that I use for rod sets and things like that, but... Oh, and I forgot to mention, the pricing on that styling gel is so-so. I think it's about $7.99 um, when I bought it. It may or may not have been on sale, but again, it lasts forever. A little bit goes a long way with that as well. So that is great. <laughs> Next up is the Curls Passion Fruit Curl and Control Paste. <laughs> Smooth, unruly edges, add sheen, and create your favorite natural hairstyle with this award-winning product. Formulated with certified organic evening, evening primrose? What kind of fancy, time-sensitive rose? <laughs> Um, I don't have anything else from the Curls brand at all. This gives you a medium hold. Um, I would not go as far to say as it gives you a strong or hard hold. Um, you can see uh, this is well loved and it <gasps> smells amazing. I actually used these two products for this braid out. 
I put these braids in maybe five days ago. I meant to take them out much sooner, but life happened. Um, so, <laughs> as you can tell, they last, they last, you know. Again, I'm, I'm sensing a trend here. A little goes a long way. The price point on this is a bit high. I think I paid something like 12 bucks for this tiny little jar, but that was months and months and months ago, and it is holding up. Well, that's about it. Those were my three favorite styling products for lovely little fluff nugget here. <laughs> and as you can tell, she respects and trusts them because you don't get that kind of definition, but this kind of movement with any kind of just harsh, horrible product. So if you have super kinky, kind of resistant to um, styling and definition hair like I do, um, maybe try... I would suggest most likely the um, the control paste. I would always suggest diluting it with something, something you may already own, just to see if that could put the punch in um, your styling efforts, because uh, styling takes a while, and I expect results at this point. <laughs> I'm a year and a half deep. Um, so let me know what your favorite styling products are because I would love to know and let me know if you've tried any of these and how they worked for you because you know not everyone's hair is the same it's not gonna act the same uh, so that's about it thanks for watching star puppy away don't forget to like share subscribe if you enjoyed the video